asked why some smokers don't get lung cancer? Well, the answer is in our genes. There is a gene called P53, which is responsible for cell division. This gene tells your cells when to stop dividing at the right time. If this gene is mutated, your cells will continue to divide indefinitely until they form a tumor or cancer. Lucky for you, you have two copies of this gene. One copy came from your mom who gave you 23 chromosomes, and the other copy came from your dad who gave you 23 chromosomes as well. So in total, you have 46 chromosomes coming from your parents. That means you have two copies of P53. For you to get cancer, the two copies must be mutated. In some smokers, one copy is no longer working, and the second copy is still functional. As they continue smoking, the chemicals from their cigarette will destroy the second copy, and that's when they get lung cancer. Some other smokers have the two copies that are still functional. They would have to smoke until they destroy the two copies, which takes much longer time than some other smokers. There is a third type of smokers who have an exceptional DNA repair mechanism. As soon as mutations happen in this gene or any other cancer-causing genes, a group of proteins come in and fix these mutations immediately. This is a DNA repair mechanism that is very efficient, and it ensures that all DNA mutations are fixed immediately as soon as they happen. But because you don't know what type of smoker are you, or whether you have have an efficient DNA repair mechanism or not, smoking remains risky for everybody. Why some smokers don't get lung cancer? Well, the answer is in